What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome. Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity here in the Hermitcraft server. And man, oh man, I am so addicted to this. This is just so much fun. This is about an hour after my last video uploaded that I'm starting to record. And I have to say, you guys have just been so supportive and so awesome, so helpful in the comments. I love you all. Thank you so very much. It just motivates me and pushes me on. I'm really glad to see that a lot of you are enjoying the series so much, so much. And I really do need to take a break from it. But I think this will be the last one in my, my little recording sessions. So it's been about 12 hours since I set up this tree farm. And it's been doing phenomenal. I'm getting all the charcoal every time I walk by and picking it up and getting all the apples as well almost got a stack of apples so it's been doing great it's been successful it definitely just that one generator can power it all so cool 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 anyway today must have things for, but i wanted to start off and craft not sure why i didn't do this yet but we need a bag because we're always getting short on inventory probably one of my favorite bags before the ender bag is the extra utilities golden bag of holding it's a little pricey a little pricey for early game but it's just so nice. So let's go ahead. Let's grab it. Oh, feels good. And a, just a double chest of portable storage. It's so good. It's so good. And I like it because a lot of other bags are a little laggy. But you can also color this bad boy. And do we have any dyes that I want to do? Well, we'll do it. let's do a light blue dye. Why not? The gold is super cool. But just point out that you can color it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, other things we did last episode, we did our auto ore processing through thermal expansion, and that's been super successful. I pretty much processed all of my ores. I'm almost running out of room of storage yet again, yet again. But it's cool. It's cool. We'll, we'll get moving on to it. Um, today, I wanted to start off, a lot of you guys were telling me, got to get the jetpack, got to get the jetpack. So I've been going for that. I think we can afford... The first level one, which is the leadstone jetpack. And I've got just about everything crafted up for it, so we'll go through it. But the only thing that was holding me back for a little while was the sulfur. I couldn't figure out how to get sulfur. So just as, as a tip, I went through, and it seemed like for most of them, you'd have to get nether ores. I don't think I found any sulfur like this, which I seem to remember might only be in like desert or hot arid biomes. That could be false. But then there's also, yeah, and that's the Railcraft one. But then I came across this recipe and I remembered, oh yeah, we did this before. So we could do it from blaze rods if we trip, took a trip into the nether. But no, we can also just take coal. We can throw it in our pulverizer. Like a bam. And I already did some and check it out. We get a 10% rare drop of sulfur right there. So super cool. So I'm able to complete are set for the jetpack. So let's go ahead and craft it. Got to get our little leather strap. We got to get two steam dynamos, which is mostly copper, and then redstone transmission coil that is silver. All right, two steam dynamos. I feel like I should have gotten an achievement for that. Let's take our sulfur. This is going to get our little leadstone flux capacitor. Bam, bam, bam. And then I think these go together in here. Something like that. That's what was the final thing? Oh man, don't you just hate that when you get all ready to go? You think you're all ready to go, and then you're not. And then you're not. Anyway, we got it. Two of the leadstone thrusters. Bam. I had everything, just forgot to craft it up. Thruster, thruster, and we got our jetpack. We got our jetpack. Awesome. Now I think we can make this armored, but let me just see how this works. Okay, cool. Take off. Take off. Uh oh, it's not taking off. What's wrong with it? It's got no power. It looks so cool though. It looks so cool. Ooh, and I forgot to update my skin. By the way, guys, thanks for thanks for all the great support and the great suggestions for the skin. I greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna keep on working on it. Let me log out real quick, update the skin. I have a new update. I haven't looked at it yet. And let's figure out how we're gonna charge this thing. I wanna fly. I wanna fly. All right, guys, so here's the next update. I feel like the shoes look a little funny. The way the jeans go down on it. I don't know. I don't know. But the crown is fixed. Check that out. Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. So let's craft up this next thing so that we can charge up our jetpack. I want my jetpack. want my jetpack. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna need. This is what we're gonna make. We're gonna make an energetic infuser. There is other ways to charge up the stuff, but this is the way thermal expansion kind of wants you to do it. So we're gonna get a leadstone energy cell frame. I think it's just the frame, right? Yes. So we need the frame. We gotta get two of these transmission coils. We gotta get machine frame. And then we put it all together like so. Oh, dang it, I forgot the copper gears. Copper gears, copper gears. I really like that they have this alternative way to make gears. It used to be such a pain in the butt, the build craft way. All right, this better be it. Yes, yes, we got it, we got it. Okay, so now we just gotta wire it in. Um, You know, maybe right for now, right below this bookcase wouldn't be a bad spot. Let's see, let's see. I think we could sneak in right there. Right there? Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna have to build up this area so no baddies come after us. Bam, okay, perfect. Now we can put this in, like a so, and put down our little stone block there, again. Perfect, and it's charging up. We should be able to throw our jetpack in. One other thing I wanna do, notice jetpacks normally, you know, you don't have armor with them. I think you can just make this armor plating with iron and tin. And then I should be able to just put them together. Yes, like that. Nice. All right, and I don't think I have to. Do I have to shift it or anything? No, that's later on. Okay, so now we can charge this baby up. Bam! Oh, man, let's see how much power we have. No, we don't have feather falling, so we got to be a little bit careful. Oh, man, we have flight! We have flight. We have flight. We have flight. We have light! Whoa! Oh, oh, and I need feather falling now. Oh, man! And that charge goes quick, but it's pretty decent. Oh, man, I love it! We have light! Uh, uh, oh, ow. <laughs> uh, I love it. So, you know what? I think we're actually probably going to be safe to go into the nether now. I'm not too concerned about it. Not too concerned about it. Um, I'm going to look to see if we can upgrade to the next level now, though, because that might be helpful. And it looks like the only new things we have to do is Invar. I didn't check the actual pack, but Invar, we have to make the bronze. Bronze is easy. Invar is just iron and ferrous, which we are already done. And then if we use the bronze gear, we can make there's Tinker's bronze, but then there's another bronze where you can just take some tin and then some copper. Just like that. And look at bronze, and you don't lose any, so that's pretty cool. And then we should be able to just make up a bronze gear like a thus. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you know what, just to make this a little bit easier, the induction smelter, it's really not that expensive. And it makes it a lot easier to make this invar because we won't have to make it down into the blend with the induction smelter we can just put the straight ingots in so i think that'll be the way to go plus it's going to help us for other things that we need to do so i'm going to make that up as well and we'll probably put it right underneath the energetic infuser sweet all right we got we got the induction smelter Let's knock that out. We'll put in one wire going down there. Sweet. And this will connect it right in. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to put the chest right here. We're going to dig that out. Then we're going to put one of the transfer pipe there and then there. And that way it will suck out of this chest and go into it. Perfect. 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 I like how that all works out and it's all nice and hidden. And we're going to have to fix up. Our stone. All right, so now we have got to choose how to do the config. So we're gonna want, let's clear it all. We're gonna have the in, let's see if that works. And then we'll have the output just like that. So let's see if that works. So we need to do, to get more in var, it was, where's our Ferris? So Ferris and two iron, right? Let's see if this works. And we of course can't open that until we get a micro block which is right here
Perfect. All right. So I believe the Ferris was like one, two. Let's see what happened there. Okay, good. It put it in the right one. Yeah. Okay. It works. It works. And it spit it out. Oh, I got to do the same thing here. And it works. Invar. Awesome. All right, back to doing the jetpack. Oh man, oh man, I think I'm all set. I think I'm all set. Let's go ahead and do this. So we have the reactant dynamos, which was just a whole bunch of invar and junk, and then a bunch of the tinker's alloys, which is just the bronze. Let's go ahead and make the two boosters. Nice. We got our invar there, hard and flux capacitor, and then I think if we take our jetpack, Put it back in our crafting grid. We get it back. Oh, and we get the armor plating back too. That's really cool. I thought we were going to lose that. Let's put our jetpack in here. Nice. And we now got the hardened jetpack. So that holds a whole lot more. 400,000 versus 25,000 RF. So it should help us to fly for a lot longer. Um, the next thing, if we want to do the armoring for it. Let's see, the armoring for the hardened jetpack. We need this Tinker's Alloy Armor, which is bronze or 10 of those with an iron plating, which we already have the iron plating. So let's go ahead and do that. I got a bunch of bronze. Okay, so it's 10 and that. Please go in the right place. Yes. And it should pop right in here. Yes! We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so then we take this with this in some fashion. There we go! Tier 2. And I bet you this has better protection for our armor as well. Awesome. So let's charge that bad boy up. Oh man, look at it suck through all that. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's put it on. Ooh, and we look pretty fancy. I like that. Oh, I didn't want to sleep. I guess sleep isn't bad. There's only... How many people are online? Okay. Okay, we're good. And it looks cool. And it looks cool. And it probably should fly exactly the same. Engine on. Engine... Oh! <laughs> All right. So the next... Oh, crud. I'm going to kill myself. All right. So I'm sure there's more options than this, but I was taking a peek through the... The way I used to always like to do it was with that uh, Portals mod and wearing their their special boots, the Longfall boots, but we don't have those in this pack. I don't think, yeah. So it looks like probably our cheap, easy answer would be either rubber boots from Industrial Craft, which that's not bad. And in fact, it looks like it works with the rubber bars too, which is perfect because we, we can afford that. I thought I'd have to go out looking for rubber. But then Industrial Craft also has their normal... No, that is the rubber boots. There's also these plastic boots. And I don't know what the plastic boots do. If they're just junky boots or if they actually help with feather falling. So why don't we craft up both of them? Bam. Four. Bam. Bam. Alright, so let's test both these guys out. Let's throw that stuff all back in. Nice. All right, let's first try the rubber boots. Pull that off, put that on. They definitely look cool. Oh, and they make kind of a different sound. All right, let's see. When we fly up... All right, that, that, that took damage, so that's already... That wasn't that high. Now, what about these guys? Ooh, I don't think that took any damage. Oh, you take a little bit, but not much. That was pretty high. Let's see if we we're really high. Yeah, I think that's going to be our, our cheap and easy way for now. Until we get something better that's more affordable. So goodbye, goodbye. Our armor rating's a little bit down, but I think overall it's going to help us out. Sweet! Okay, so I was thinking we could take a trip into the nether today. Um, I'm going to have to get equipped a little bit, figure out what else we need. We should probably make a helmet just because our... Just for extra protection. Flam. Helmet. Simple, easy helmet. And I'm trying to, guys, not to go too fast, too quickly, get too overly, like, 
suited up with stuff because we could just go all the way in one episode but what's the fun in that what is the fun in that let's get this guy charged up i'm gonna grab whatever else i need and we'll head into the nether all right i'm back with plenty of obsidian for the portal let's make a flint and steel and you know what i was just thinking we have miscraft that would be extra super handy when we go to the nether if we get like stuck or something to go back and forth. So why don't we just try and get into this ever so slightly? Let's make a, cu a couple of glass bottles. Let's just do that many for now. Let's make this guy. Ink mixer. I think that might be the only thing we need, but let's... We might as well make up everything. Oh man, I've forgotten how much I both love and hate Miscraft. So I mixed... I messed up a couple times and I wasted a whole bunch of paper. But that's okay. I think I got it now. I think I got it now. And we're just doing a simple thing. We're not making an age right now. We just want to get away home. That's it. So first of all, I'm doing a brick well. This is from Pam's Harvest Craft. I just find this a useful little item to have around the base. It's just an infinite water source that you're able to grab more with buckets when need be. And I want to see if you can do it with bottles too. Because that will be handy. Yes, you can. Nice. All right, very cool. So we want to make a bunch of ink vials, and these guys do not stack. So to make ink vials, I believe you can just go like this and like that. So we're going to be using up pretty much all of our ink. So let's go bam, bam, and that's actually all I really care to do at this second. So then we're going to go to the ink mixer, which we already made up. There we go. Okay, so we have all this stuff. We already crafted it. Right now we're using the ink mixer, which is just that right there. So what this guy's going to do is be able to make our beginning page that we need. Bam, it dumps the ink over there, and this will make the linking panel. So that's all we want. Now you can do other modifications to this by throwing stuff into the ink. We're not going to worry about that yet. Small step in the journey. Nice! Yes, okay. Perfect. So unlinked linking book. That's what we want. We want one to link to our base. So you just take this and let's say right here is where I want to end up. I can just hold shift and then right click. There we go. Now we're linked to the overworld to our spot. And if I want to, I can then throw it in here, I believe. And I can change the name to DMAX. And it's now linked to DMAX. Sweet. So we're going to want to put this little book in our bag so we don't want to lose it. Now let's make another one so that we can get back and forth from the nether. Because we don't want to have to like go have a portal right in our spot. We want just an easy, accessible way. So thank goodness this only takes, takes one piece of leather. This one we're going to leave black and we're not going to take with us. So pretty cool. Oh man, and I almost forgot. We're going to drop the books as soon as we use them, so we're going to have to make some lecterns. Bam. Let's just make a whole bunch. And then I made another book to also go back to our base. Go deeper! Oh man, this looks scary. This looks scary. So we're going to have to keep careful watch over... Oh, we should definitely do a waypoint. And yeah, this is just ripe for the picking. Now, um, Zuljan told me, he made sure to point out the fact, and look at their sulfur in case we needed it, that these things, oh, piggy, somebody made the piggy mad, somebody made the piggy mad, go run away. Is there more piggies that are coming after us? We better hurry, let's grab some quartz real quick. He told me that the ores are sometimes exploding. And some of these we may not be able to mine. All right, I may, I may strip, what was that? Was that a dense quartz? Well, that's cool, we're getting quartz up the wazoo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's that, okay. Nether lapis, can we mine this? Yes. Holy crap, look at the dog. It's an angry dog. Let's stay away from the angry dog. Do not need any angry dogs. All right, anything else really good, really quick. This is gonna be a real easy way to get lapis, guys. All right, there's some Ardite. We can't get Ardite and Cobalt yet. And look at there's some Cobalt. So I'm curious if maybe 
we could use a block breaker and kind of cheat our way. Because normally with Tinkers, you'd have to get steel first before you could get that. What's that? Nether Ferris? Can we mine that? All right. And Cobalt. Yeah, see, you cannot mine Cobalt with that. And this can't mine either, right? Nope. All right, so we're going to have to find a different way to mine that. I'm thinking about doing a block breaker. Just get a few more of these quartz. And let's fly back. Let's put our little book right next to the portal. All right, let's... Oh, go away, Peggy! Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh, and we should get some glowstone really quickly while we're here, too. Let's just do that while Mr. Piggy's being a pain in the butt. Nice glowstone. Oh, I want that so bad. Are you gonna? Are you mad at me, Piggy? Oh, <gasps> you scared me. Are you mad at me? I can't tell. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh no, he's mad at me. Yep. No, that's that same annoying one. Come here, guy. Come over here. Come here. Fall down. Hurry up. We're at sixty-nine percent. Okay. All right, so let's set up. Is there no more met. Dang it, spider! Go away! Leave me alone! I just want to set up my dang book, please. Ooh. Okay. Let's hurry up and do this. Let's put down our lectern. I'm thinking like right, right here. Lectern. Okay. Cool. Let's put our nether unlinked linking book. Let's go. Bam. So that's our nether linking book. And then this goes back to D-Max base. Set that there. Look in D-Max base. Please work. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. Now we should be able to go there. Let's name this book. Oh, it's already named nether. Nether. And then we should be able to just go back and forth. Yes! I love Miscraft! I've missed you oh so much! Oh, that's sweet! Alright, so there's our easy way into the nether. Let's knock this portal out now. No need for you. Keep the obsidian. Alright, I'll pick up the rest later. Let's go in real quick and let's check out this block breaker. And let's charge uh, our jetpack while we're doing that. So like that, 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 and that. Yes, block breaker. Okay, and then we need some lever levers. All right, so hypothetically, this well, this is how this works. Let's see, block breaker, how does that set down? So if I put a piece of obsidian there, if it can break the obsidian, I'm pretty confident it will break the other. Okay, look, it broke the obsidian. Sweet! All right, guys, cross your fingers that this is how it works with the cobalt, because that would just be so incredibly awesome. All right, so let's knock that block out there, and I think if we place the block placer, like, or the block breaker like that, please work, block breaker. Make us proud. Yes. And no. Dang you, it deleted it. Did it, did it? What the heck? Oh, did they really think of a way? Did they really realize that that was going to be cheaty? Oh, it just breaks it like that. Okay, so this just has the equivalent of a diamond pickaxe. Oh, nuts. All right, so we got to find some steel. There are steel ore, but we got to we got to see. Alright guys, you know what? Forget about the cobalt for today. We'll get into that probably next episode, but I wanted to take a peek at this. Apparently there's better boots that I could probably get that are from Tinkers. Let's find where it is, but yeah, they have all their armor now. And there's this thing right here where if I can make this slime booster thing, it says it dampens fall impact and it reduces fall damage. So that might be kind of cool. And these are Traveler's Boots, which I think already 
have like a decent uh, durability and they let you I think walk up a block so that's kind of cool so let's try and do that let's let's craft some should have e oh get out of here should have everything to do that traveler's boots bam awesome 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 now to get that whole slime thing it said that we needed so if we add some redstone it will make it a slime channel and then we add some slime and it will make a bounce pad cool so i bet we can craft those together now let's put on these shoes because i just want to see how they do does this let me walk up this block yeah look at that i can now just walk straight up the blocks that's a really cool feature to be able to have right off the bat and it seems like they give decent protection let's see that went up two and a half versus what did this put it up that put it up a half so two and a half and much higher durability so that's cool let's see if we can now modify these i assume that it's in here all right nice slimy souls all right so let's go way up high don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, well, I bounced, but I took a ton of damage. That's not quite what I wanted. That's not what I had in mind. So that was pretty minor. So we'll see. All right, yeah, so it's definable thing, definitely a thing that you can stack. I mean, it said it was stackable in the book. So we have Slimy Souls three now i don't know if that's the highest it may go higher it may go up to 10 for all i know but let's try this now let's eat i just cooked up since i got all that leather i got a bunch of steak finally we have better food better food put that away um bam all right so we got our shoes on hopefully hopefully this is much better oh god there's a creeper right there and don't die. Oh, well, it's neat that we bounce, but it's still not like what I had in mind. The, I think the, uh, the other boots actually give more protection. Well, that wasn't horrible. And it does give more overall protection. So this might be a decent answer. Yuck, that was a lot of hearts right there. Go away. You are not getting... No, you're not getting me, bro. <laughs> you're not... Oh, no. You're not getting me today. All right, guys. I think we're good. I want to go out and find a blaze spawner. Um, I want to see if you can still do this. They used to, used to be able to pick up spawners with the second level dollies. So let's make a diamond dolly. Let's see if that's still a thing. Got a book to get back. I made another book so that we can make a link over to the blaze, to where the spawner is, in case we need to come back. Or it doesn't work, but in any case, let's do this. I think I have everything. I have two watering cans, because the watering cans say they can put you, they can put out a fire, even if it's on you. That's really weird, that whole bouncing thing. Oh man, I think we better put on hover. All right, so let's find a fortress. Oh man, and we have contact. There's a blaze spawner. Oh man, I'm nervous. All right, should we just run in and grab it or should we fight the blaze first and then grab it? Oh, I feel like we should just run in and grab it. I can't remember though if you have to shift click it or not. All right, here we go. Oh God, oh God. Okay, we got it, we got it. And we got away. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh baby, so excited. All right, time to make this spawner, time to make this spawner. So, a couple things I wanna get. I wanna get some wooden spikes, which are pretty neat. We'll see why those are good shortly. And then we're gonna make a whole bunch of conveyor belts. Awesome, so that we can hopefully funnel all the mobs around. We're also gonna take some pistons, make them into sticky pistons. I think you can do it with that, yes. With that rubber, so you can save on slime. You don't have to waste them. Anyway, look what I made. It's not the most attractive thing, but I think it's what we're gonna need to do the job. So let's go ahead and try this out. Hopefully there's no mobs in here. Nobody spawned, no baddies. Okay, we're good, we're good. 
All right, so we're going to do conveyor belts. Basically, the spawner's going to go right there. They'll spawn into this room. This gives enough space for maximum spawning. And then let's see if we can put on our hover mid. Nope, wrong way, wrong way. So these conveyor belts, they work kind of like a water stream, but you don't actually need water. Oh, no, they always set. I don't know what I'm thinking. So we're going to set it like this. And I could just use water, too, now that I think about it. But we'll try it since I already crafted up the conveyor belts. We'll try it with this. So let me set these all in, and then we'll get to the next step. All right, so here's the gist of it. They spawn in, they get pushed over to here, pushed into there, and then brought over to our little killing area. Sweet. So what we got to do now is we got to put something in to prevent more blaze from falling down. So for that, we can just do pistons right here and here. All right, we got our pistons in place. Awesome. So now... We should be able to just go like that. That pushes one, but we want to push them both. So if we want to push them both, we do it like that. And it blocks off from any more blaze coming in. Cool. So I may have to adjust the height of that. But I think for now, that'll suit it just fine. Just fine. Okay. So next, we're going to put on the spikes. And what the spikes are going to do is they're going to bring whatever mob that falls onto it down to a one-hit kill, which is super cool, and then we should be able to just hit them with our hand. So that should be handy. And you know what? Let's put those in last, just because we're going to have to get out of this trap. Let's get out our dolly. Oh, man. I'm nervous. Let's go right there. Perfect. Knock it out. Up here, quick, cover it, cover it. Are they spawning in? Whoop. And we'll have to get some of that blackout glass from Joe. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Yes, it's working. See it? See the hearts going down? Half a heart. BAM! Yes! I love this! So we can just sit here in AFK. I'll have to build a little hidey room. But we can sit here in AFK. We don't have... We sh they shouldn't be able to shoot at us at all. If we do this right, we'll have a nice little AFK room. We won't have to worry about any mobs sneaking up on us. So that would be very, very nice. What do you say, guys? Half a heart, half a heart. Bam, bam. Nice! Oh, no, that's my blaze rod. Come back here. Come back here! Awesome, guys! So we got a blaze spawner now. We got easy access to blaze rods. It's the best. It's the best. So we'll have to set up an auto-collect little system, and we'll probably upgrade eventually to higher spikes that will fully auto-kill. But for now, nice little XP farm and everything. I love it, guys. I love it! So... As always, guys, thank you oh so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it helps support my channel and lets me know that you're enjoying the infinity. That's right. Um, help me out with any comments that I asked during the video, any questions I asked during the video. And um, yeah, if you just want to say hi to, that's cool. That's cool. Give me any tips or tricks. Let me know about these shoes, whether they're even worth using. They're kind of annoying, this little little bouncy bounce but it's kind of cool too anywho thanks for watching as always peace out oh